you don't have a language for them, but your art then becomes the language to express that. The umbrella of this idea is also to be able to share other people's opinion in my work by privately collaborating with them. You know, if I come across with something that is nice about you, for instance, I would at some point get a you in my work without you knowing. Hello, Blessing. Thank you for joining us and welcome. Hi, Mom Shadow. How are you? And thank you for inviting me this afternoon. It's it's only a pleasure. Now let's get straight into it. I need to know and just take us back um, to when you started your art. What inspired you to be an artist and the type of artist that you are? Uh, for me, I would I would, uh, I would uh, say um, when I started uh, painting, it was more of like. Uh, playing, should I say, I, I never knew that uh, in the long run I might take uh, it serious as it is today. And uh, and also what inspired most of my creativity uh, thinking was, um, you know, the daily struggle, you know, um, uh, the search of greener pastures, you know, like the survival, you know, daily survival where you, you, you want to also be seen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and and also be able to to understand your 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 your, your landscape, you know. Um, yeah, and uh, of course the introduction of the media into our life, you know, also give so much inspiration when you read these stories that are being shared by the global uh, thinkers, you know. And uh, it 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 suggested to me that. There's a, 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 a lot of amount of content that one can um, get from these things, you know, from uh, hearing our politicians arguing, lying to us, you know. Um, uh, I mean, politics is not only on the that up level. We have our family politics also. Um, being a man in the house, you know, you have to do something. I mean, do something, wake up and do something, you know. So for me, those are the things that gave me like the idea of saying there's so much that we can share, you know, as artists, you know, in the, in the art landscape, you know. And um, yeah, I mean, you learn, you learn on the journey. I mean, we're still learning even today, you know, like I never knew about NFT, for instance, and <laughs> now here I am, I'm speaking <laughs> with you guys, you know. Yeah, so it's more of like being open-minded person, uh, be a thinker, and yeah, man, you know, yeah. I mean, those things that are, are, are you know, are making us to suffer. You know, <laughs> they are. My I hear lots of social commentary in what you're saying, um, and how the media has influenced, and all the issues that we have to deal with as communities and as society. But my, my, I'm curious about how you chose the medium that you chose to express all of these things that, you know, you, you don't have a language for them, but your art then becomes the language to express that. Yeah, for me, I think the medium that um, uh, uh, is playing a great role in contribution with uh, contributing with what I think um I, I I used to work with recycled material back then, you know, uh, before I, I I was able to afford like a decent material, you know. So the that inspiration of touching the material and 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 and, and working with uh, different tools, you know. For instance, I cut a lot of magazines and cut and paste, you know, uh, through that process of cutting, you know, hearing the scissor, you know, and the. Uh, the, the 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 umbrella of this idea is also to to be able to share uh, other people's opinion in my work by privately collaborating with them you know uh, because if I come across with something that is nice about you for instance I would at some point get uh, you in my work without you knowing and and mostly it's it's like um, I, I I do layering layering and uh, but most people they won't recognize it with the naked eye you know but i as an artist i'll be the one that would know that uh, the work of uh, our master gera scott or, or our jean michael basquiat or our Dumile Fenis, picassos they are in in my work they are uh, 
uh, playing a role of also um, saying if we had an opportunity to meet in person with these great artists that laid the foundation for so many other artists out there, uh, I, I would I would say you know thank you. But by also not uh, I did not have an opportunity to meet them in person by inviting them in my work. For me, I feel like I'm honoring them, like. Uh, uh, yeah, to give them like a, a cup, you know, an award, you know, um, a prize, you know, even though they are no normal with us, but their work still is still living with us. So that communication between me and an empty canvas and the material and the stories that are written by others, it's a form of like uni uniting artists from different uh, parts of the world and put them in one piece, put them in my work, you know, and uh, share my opinion and my idea and my thinking with the rest of the world, you know. So for me, yeah, I mean, performance, you know, I've, I've done few performances, which is also a medium that I some, sometimes use to express a certain idea uh, or a worrisome uh, about my community, you know, uh, using um, uh, uh, like video installations, uh, using installations in this place, you know, for me, I found peace, you know, within that material that I use uh, it, to construct a certain idea. You know, as you continue this legacy of all the artists you mentioned, and especially because you say uh, you want to share it with the world, their work with the world and inviting them to be part of your work, the NFT lab is actually offering you that opportunity for the world to see it, does it not? Yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a part and parcel of uh, being an artist, you know, to to be able to allow yourself to learn uh, different ways to present yourself out there, you know, uh, regardless of uh, already the international people, international space, they, they 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 do recognize the work, but the form of this medium that is coming up with the uh, NFT. I think in particular itself, it is a, a, a major role and how they generate the, 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 the income, you know, for, 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 for the artist, you know. Uh, it shows that the world is moving into a direction, a certain direction, you know. I always make an example with the, uh, our generation, for instance, um, the rest of the world, they are competing with technology and the information and knowledge. And uh, our generation in our local spaces, they compete with violence, you know, compete who's still better, compete, you know, why can't we have a moment to uh, move with what the world is offering us, you know? For instance, I'll give you an example with the COVID. I think sometimes it was not a mistake that it came, but at the very same time, it wasn't a good, you know, uh, experience, you know, for so many families and and and. and those who are uh, breadwinners and artists, whoever that is in, in, in the world, you know. But it gave us a pause, you know, to really look at ourselves and find the meaning and find a way of how to deal with the modern world. Mm -hmm. And uh, NFT is, 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 is in particular, I think it does cut out that, it does give that to, uh, to say, let's move with what uh, the world is designed to be like, you know. What kind of productions uh, did you come up with or new ideas during during the pandemic, during the COVID pandemic? What what how has it changed the way you work, especially on your art? I think for me, I I I've been during the hard lockdown. Lock, lockdown. I I used to work in a smaller space in the room um, with my kids around me, the pots, the food, you know, the smell of everything in the house, you know. Um, through that. I I I realized that okay, we we are into this thing and uh, it started as a play, but this is a real thing, you know. Therefore, uh, I was able to learn how to present my work, you know, in a, a visual form, you know, online, online, you know, all this and that. And uh, I never knew that one day I just I'll just sell my work while I'm sitting here before anybody, you know, see it in person, you know. Uh, even though there was, it was there, but it was not that effective as it is today. So for me, it was a lesson also uh, to to be able to appreciate 
ourselves that we can still create the outbreaks even in the hardest of lockdowns, you know. Uh, and then it enable us when we happen to go back to the studios, you know, we is in particular myself, you know, um, I've I'm able to create a, an artwork from anything that is a, is a, is around myself, you know, because uh, you would not be able to go buy material during the hard lockdown, you know, and then you have to find a, a system, find something to use in your space. So therefore, like right now. I don't just rush and go buy material. Whatever that is in my studio, if the idea is there, then I can be able to create a, a work of art and with a deeper um, meaning in it, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's so much that we we, we, we learn. I mean, um, yeah, be able to also sit down and uh, look at NFT situation and uh, be able to uh, say, okay, I can participate in this, I can be part of that, you know. It was a, a decision that was made, I think, during these uh, uh, lessons that we got uh, from COVID, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for, for the Out of Africa collection, um, I want you to take us through the painting that you submitted for for the work. Um, are you able to talk to us about it? Yeah, back, uh, for me, back to the roots, uh, it was speaking to an idea that um, I was I was given an opportunity to do a project uh, with uh, a certain company. And uh, the project was involving my thinking, what do I think as an artist? So I came up with going uh, back to the roots as an idea that uh, there's so much land that at some point does not belong to us, Blacks, but uh, we can be able to go to these lands and try to find a way of convincing, you know, uh, those people who are running the land, as we speak, you know, and uh, uh, do something in, 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 in deeper, deep rural areas than uh, the life of the city, you know, because when I look at it, uh, the city is dying slowly and uh, it will never be a as it was a few years ago, you know. So therefore, thinking about going back to, to our roots and start uh, using what is available in our land, you know, um, uh, uh, use a traditional way of living, but fused with the modern life, you know, uh, because when you come to the city, I believe that you you also come to learn things and take them back to your home and uh, uh, do something with what you learned and teach others back home, you know, because, uh, the system never gave us an, a, 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 that opportunity back then, you know, to be able to understand where we're living. We had to migrate from uh, different town to town to look for a better life, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I was, I, in the work, I, I'm speaking to the idea of going back to our roots and uh, uh, be able to survive and generate a could be income of, of food, you know. Uh, for instance, do farming. Um, I, I, yeah, I was mostly inspired by the idea that I went back. I bought a farm, and then I, I, am farming um, chickens and goats. You know, uh, so through that, it was also part of the idea of saying, uh, if we can go back to the roots, because remember, mostly back then people they believed that Johannesburg, uh, for instance, because I'm in Johannesburg, I came, you know. To, to search for greener pastures, pastures as others. Unfortunately, others, uh, they still believe that it's paved in gold, you know. Uh, yeah, but at the very same time, Joanna Speck itself is a, is a person, is a human, and uh, it needs your, 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 your contribution. So mm -hmm. if you can't contribute, then it vomits you away. It, it, um, yeah, it shocks you. It, you, you. Yeah, so it fights you. And, uh, uh, not to say it doesn't does not want you to grow, but it wants your participation, mm. and your contribution towards it. So, yeah. So for me, those are the you know simple mm. things that I, I've, I've thought about. Is going back to the roots, you know, and uh, yeah, be able to survive and uh, uh, claim the ownership of things that we, we, we our ancestors uh, uh, was robbed from. You know? So holding on to the back to the roots idea and what your dreams are about going back to our roots, I, I want you to 
tell me if you think then the whole idea of NFT could work and your art on this platform could work for a lot more people to realize those dreams of going back to the roots. I think uh, 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 I'll I'll begin with myself. You know, uh, when 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 I started to go back to my roots and start doing things back home, there are so many other uh, artists and other people friends who 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 joined the the same idea. Like, hey man, I'm also building my studio back home. I'm tired of renting, you know, uh, a, a, a space that I don't own. You know, so 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 I think. The NFT is part and parcel of that uh, to say, even if you're far away from whatever good things, uh, if you have an access to the internet and access to you know the modern way, uh, life, uh, then you can be able to showcase your your work through NFT and be able to earn something through NFT. You know, mm. um, yeah, I think I think it, it definitely it it, it will say something to others that are also wishing to go back to their roots and start um, claiming a proper ownership because uh, the city life, for instance, is not a normal life. You have to keep on hustling like now and then, you know. So, um, Blessing, when are you buying your token? Yeah, I, I, I remember as an artist, you know, I, I would love to buy one. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and I want to see first what is going on and then be able to learn before I, I jump to the conclusion, you know. So so there's no... <laughs> I cannot say I will buy now or tomorrow or next year or I will not buy <laughs> because it's, it's a learning. So if I can be triggered enough to speak today, like as I speak here, yeah, mm-hmm. therefore uh, the chance for me to buy it is high. I think so too. I hope you get triggered along the way. But thank you so much for joining us today and and all the best on the on the collection and on the platform to sell your work. Thank you very much. Um, Yeah, we'll we'll keep in uh, keep creating great works and uh, uh, question the world about its problems. Yeah, and and thank you for being that voice. Take care, blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.